All right, guys. So here is a dark tangerine male. Heat's turned on and he's ready to gain some weight. Tail got a little thin over winter. But uh, he hatched out very dark. Now, males should be very bright, but he, of course, is super, super dark. So, really like this one. Pretty nice genetics. Uh, just all around great gecko. So, not sure why it's so dark. I hatched out so dark and I thought it was like a temperature thing. So I moved him to a hotter part of the rack. Still dark. So I think it's just going to be dark tangerine. But yeah, he's pretty cool. He'll fatten up just fine. Now that the uh, heat's back on and they're all ready to go, it is now springtime in the gecko room. Just cleaning tubs. Did he move out of frame? Can you guys still see him? Yeah, just a little bit, barely. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, you don't like it at all, do you? I'm not gonna take it. No, you asshole, I ain't gonna take it. I'm not gonna take your crap anymore. Bing bong, bing bong, bong. Yeah, you're a mean bastard, aren't you? Gosh, you got some really orange on the head. I freaking hate orange geckos. Look at that. This is Tweedledum and Tweedledee line of tangerine. You can only find it here. It's not related to my other line, the willow tangerine. Don't repeat that. There is no fucking such thing. Jeez. You know, I actually... Someone linked me a few years ago, 2014, when we made up that willow tangerine thing on Late Night Leo's. <laughs> Someone actually was saying how it looked like a willow tangerine and to check where it came from and all this stuff Because they're one of the only ones with the original willow tangerine like and they were freaking serious like they were fed that bullshit somebody sold them something and It was just shit So Yeah, your tail's getting pretty thin, isn't it? Should have woken you up earlier put you in the other rack Got you heated up a little faster. Well, it'll be just fine. So, hope you guys enjoy. Fuck tangerines.